There is a form of food production that combines new technologies together with ancestral principles that many were unaware of. Yet, it has been progressively taken much force in the world for some time. Hydroponics. It is a term that has its origin in the Greek words hydro, meaning water, and ponos, which means work, or working in water. According to experts, it is perhaps one of the best solutions to help fight hunger and ensure food security, especially in densely populated urban areas. At present, there are several recognized companies that specialize in hydroponic systems on a large scale. We travel to Israel, a country that in its need to solve problems of land and water scarcity, has managed to develop agricultural technology that is currently being exported to the whole world. Our company is uh, specializing in uh, farming, uh, horticulture, mainly uh, hydroponics. Uh, we are dealing with uh, agriculture already 60 years, where my uh, partner's father started the business with flowers. Since uh, 2000, we are specializing and developing uh, hydroponic techniques, uh, mainly for the production of uh, leafy vegetables like uh, lettuces, like um, uh, fresh herbs. The reason that we got into hydroponic was that we were looking for a system that will be with higher efficiency. Um, in general, hydroponics produces six times more production per square meter than, than in the soil. Other great advantages of hydroponic crops are the production of clean products. Since they are irrigated with potable water, and are grown on substrates free of contamination. They are suitable for establishing themselves in small spaces such as ceilings, walls, terraces, and so on. They can result in up to a 70% savings in water and fertilizers. There are a few reasons why it's more efficient. First of all, uh, because we work with this system and we can uh, move it and we can play with this, uh, it is more efficient in the use of the, of the area. We don't need, we have only one paint in the middle and then all the rest is for uh, production. Another reason is that by using this system and by using the greenhouse, we create the perfect climate for the product. Uh, we make the fertilizers available for the product, so it consumes what it needs, and therefore we get faster uh, and, and better production. How this system works? In general, it's a very simple system. We produce the products only in water. In those tunnels you have water with the fertilizers, and the, the plant we put it like this in the water, and then uh, you can see here in this line after one week, and then actually in four weeks we have the, the product ready uh, to use. The water is streaming in those uh, tunnels and is recycled into the main uh, system where we treat it and use it again and again, so it's a closed system. Through this system, the plant consumes the same as when planted in the soil. The only difference is that the nutrients it needs for its development are supplied through the water. When we make the plant, we, we put the seed 
in, uh, in uh, pit and this is where we produce the plant and then we use it uh, like this so in the long run uh, the, the product is bigger and then when it's ready to harvest we just cut the roots and we have a clean product uh, ready to sell. In 2004, they developed a unique hydroponic culture method based on NFT, nutrient film technique, a water recirculation system that carefully handles the use of water and the volumes of fertilizer needed to support the healthy and steady growth of the plant. This offers multiple proven advantages that include exceptionally high yields, significantly lower operating costs, more efficient production facilities, huge savings in water and fertilizers, longer life cycles for machines, very suitable for urban agriculture, for example, greenhouses on the roof, longer equipment life and greater profitability. These NFT techniques are increasing worldwide due to the growing consumption of high-value crops and the need to guarantee food security. The food industry is more focused on techniques that can improve performance and quality in order to give them an advantage in the market. In general, the, um, uh, the production cycle is between three weeks to five weeks. Five is when the weather is cold. When it's ready, it goes straight to the market. Our products arrive to the market in 24 hours uh, from uh, harvesting. And again, because it has so, so good um, uh, conditions, we enjoy uh, longer shelf life. And you can see on the shelf in the supermarket, or you can see that uh, chefs prefer those products because it's clean, because it's full of water, the taste is, or, or uh, the product is more uh, crispy. So you really enjoy a very high quality product. Uh, in that way, we actually keep the shelf life. I mean, we do the work here, we immediately pack it and then it goes to the packing house to be cooled a little bit and then to the market. So in that way, the change from harvest to the packaging and then to the supermarket, the change is not dramatic. When the changes are dramatic, the product suffer. But by the way that we do it uh, very moderate, we keep a longer shelf life. In this system of hydroponics, the plant is used only once in order to achieve an excellent quality, which is why there is a high volume of daily planting. A machine is used in this operation since precision is required. It also helps to reduce labor costs. The, the system of the uh, cocoa pit uh, grow bags is very similar. There are actually two differences. From one hand, in the cocoa pit grow bags, we can have bigger heads because this one is small and if we will have a big head, it will fall. On the other hand, with the cocoa pit grow bag, we have to replace every two years. While in this system, we can use it 20 years and there's no need for uh, reinvesting money. It's a smaller product in the end. I mean, 
Here, after three, four weeks, it's big enough and we harvest it. And in some of the products, like romaine lettuce, in the grow bag, we leave it another week to get bigger because the market wants bigger uh, leaves. The Micro Leaves project was developed eight years ago. In the beginning, small herbs were used by chefs to decorate their dishes. In recent years, some researchers have shown that these micro leaves are very healthy. Each one has the same amount of vitamins and minerals as a large one. For example, uh, broccoli is known to be a superfood. One of the components that it has is uh, sulforaphane which is a, a very good fighter against cancer. The um, concentration of the sulforaphane in micro leaves of broccoli is double 15 to double 20 than uh, big broccoli. And therefore, instead of eating seven heads of broccoli, you can eat 10 grams or 15 grams of, uh, of micro broccoli. This is one sample. Problems of illness. We have a very high absorption uh, rate because all, this, all, the, um, all the process is very good controlled. We use this uh, machine for the preparation we use germination room for 24 hours to, to create the best results for the, for the plant to start. And then we grow the plants in a high controlled nursery. And in the end, with this system, we really have a very good product in the end. And because we replace the plants every cycle, there's no time for diseases to develop and therefore no diseases, and therefore no need to spray. Uh, this is totally opposite than what people think. The hydroponic system is a lot more water saving than regular uh, or than growing in the ground. Because when you grow in the ground, 70% of the water that you use to irrigate goes to the underground water together with the fertilizers. So it causes pollution. In our case, we use all the water. So we save 70% of the consumption of water comparing to growing in the, in the ground. And on the way, we're also saving fertilizer, which means money and we also protect the underground water from being polluted by uh, fertilizers. One thing that is al already happening is that we see in the last two years a um, dramatic increase in the use of hydroponic system. We, we, have, we have demand from all over the world bigger and bigger for hydroponic systems. Uh, so first of all, the, 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 let's say the first phase of our vision to make this system uh, popular, this really works. Um, our next step on this is first of all to offer uh, automated uh, solutions, at least for countries where uh, labor cost is high. Since its inception, landless crops play a very important role in modern agriculture, especially in horticulture, which is based on four fundamental pillars. Consumer care, caring for the environment, producers' well-being, the agro-social benefits. At a global level, new technologies are developing at high speed the so-called ICT, or 
information and communication technologies capture any activity of man, including agriculture and horticulture. Soilless crops participate in these technologies in almost all their facets. We developed a new solution for small farmers, for family farmers, uh, and we presented this solution this year. The solution, we call it the tap kit. The tap kit is a 500 square meter tunnel with a hydroponic NFT system inside, with very small a table for production of plants with a table for packaging, cooling unit. So actually a family can have something like we have here, but in a small size. This unit can produce between 6 to 12 tons per year, which means that for the family it's a small business that they can actually uh, live from the incomes of this uh, system. And our vision is that all over the world, also small farmers will be able to use hydroponic by using the, the tap kit. This kit was designed as an economical solution that maintains a high standard of production. The unit can be operated by two people and is developed in such a way that it can be adjusted to the local circumstances and needs of the producer. The stabilization of the temperature of the nutrients throughout the year helps farmers to produce better quality crops, maximize the volume of production, and minimize costs. Users of this system include tourist centers, educational organizations, retired people, hospitals, and many more. In the long run, where, the, where there are not enough uh, land that, are, that we can use for production of uh, products, for leafy vegetables, for fresh herbs, there is no reason that uh, not all the production will move into hydroponic systems that can support the, that can, can supply the, the growing demand of these uh, products. There are many options for its use, since most commercial crops adapt easily to hydroponic production systems. From vegetables, fruit trees, to cereal production, there are many products that work well with this system. To understand whether hydroponics can be applied to a particular crop, a series of evaluations must be carried out according to each circumstance. The producer's knowledge and their capacity to change are also very important. It's optional to use greenhouse, but we think it's a must. Why? If you don't uh, use greenhouse, your products are not uh, protected. When they are not protected, they, they will have diseases, they will have insects. If you will have insects, you will have to spray. And we want to, to, to prevent this, uh, this issue. Uh, this is the reason that we prefer to do it in greenhouse. Uh, another reason is that in many countries, uh, the weather is not uh, the best condition. It's not like Colombia where you have perfect uh, climate conditions. So in many countries, by using the greenhouse, you can moderate, you can control the climate and, cre and create the right atmosphere for the products to, to achieve the, the high quality. We wish that people will know that uh, in the long run, they will be able to grow their own hydroponic produce and to enjoy healthy and clean uh, products.